yo what's going on you guys welcome back to another video on the channel today i'm bringing you guys another high rated new format video we have kirito 99999 with 849 rating i think this is the highest i've seen so far i don't i'm not 100 sure but i think so and then pro pillow with 188 rating before we get any further though if you guys could drop a like on this video greatly appreciate it it greatly helps out the channel i also want to say i apologize for no video yesterday I went to locals and I was working and I got home and played some Mortal Kombat. I'm not going to lie. I could have made a video when I get home, but that Mortal Kombat 1 was calling my name, bro. That smoke that smoke dash cancel, bro. Hey, bro, it was calling my name, bro. But uh, anyway, let's hop right into the video. I, we were going to see. I missed the rock, paper, scissors. Pro Pillow wins the rock, paper, scissors. Though decides to go first. Oh, shit. On Dark World automatic dub. Uh, but Kirito opens up Talents, uh, Gate. Aruha, Sarama, and Tour Guide. Opponent opens up Jackalo, Radiant Kaiju, Genta, Mothman, and the what was it? Rainbow. Yeah, Rainbow, Rainbow, Rainbow. My bad. So he's going to start with Discard Genta, Search Gates, Res, Droll. No? Okay, I win. And then Activate Gates, and then Banish Genta, Discard the Rainbow, draw into another Kaiju. Then he's going to get Rainbow Effect to add a level 5 or higher. And he's going to get Genta Chain Link 2 to special. Can't forget that. Um, so I was going to add a Grapha there from deck to hand. Then he's going to go Mothman, hit a little random roll here. That's going to hit a five. That's going to hit the Radiant. So special and draw one. Draw into Nessie. He has level four access if he wants to. And then he's going to go Nessie here. Nessie's going to hit Dark uh, Grapha and then special draw. Draw into Archives, which is a crazy card. And then go for Dugaris, of course. Dugaris, draw two discard one okay skip your next draw phase yep so that draws into silva in corridor then he's going to discard the silva special summon the silva with the effect and then activate archives then go core actually oh he's just gonna bounce back yeah he's gonna bounce back the silva for the rainbow then bounce back the rainbow for the grapha and i wouldn't be surprised if there's a scoop coming pretty soon he's gonna go contract or not contract corridor i was looking at the contract in his hand but corridor i didn't even see what he grabbed off of that was that ceruli maybe ceruli and then pass over ceruli and then he's gonna get the silva effect to summon itself as chain link one then dark world archives as chain link two to discard first then draw two so discard the rainbow draw rainbow and mothman then special summon out the silva opponent puts two cards from their hands to the bottom of the deck because it was discarded by an opponent's card effect which was the silva so it keeps talents dark contract and tour guide then he's going to get rainbow effect on a new chain exodia obliterates enters the chat oh. uh he's going to go bounce back bounce back summon rainbow link into the akashic bounce back akashic it's getting crazy as hell like i said I would not be surprised if there's a scoop coming any moment here. Um, so, yeah, there we go. There we go. I knew it was coming, bro. Like, you can't, like, they have, like, 10 cards in hand. You have three. And, like, Dark World does what it does, bro. Like, side in your drolls for sure. Uh, but opponent, Kirito, opens up Dark Contract with the Gate and the Requiem. Unfortunate as hell. Prosperity, though, can try to dig Floodgate and escape opponent opens up the sil or no the snow the allure the gates the talents and the radiant kaiju okay i need to brush up on my dark world names bro i'm like stuttering with these names um but he's gonna start with a uh, gate and then requiem destroy scale summon itself and then effect destroy escape escape effect summon sharvara from deck link into yamas uh, yama one sharvara two uh but yeah put back and then gain a thousand and then he's going to set chamber, add Aruha from deck to hand. And then he's going to go Aruha, destroy chamber, summon itself, chamber effect, summon Shyama from deck. Shyama, destroy Aruha, and then summon out Sarama. And then he's going to link into Soul of Rage. And then he's going to get Sarama effect, reset chamber. And then destroy the Soul of Rage. Soul of Rage, add back Sharvara. And then he's going to get Shyama, destroy Sarama, summon out Shyama. Sarama effect, summon out Sharvara, overlay into the DDD, Kaiju about to go crazy, and he's going to get Pot of Prosperity here, uh, hits all engine, so just grab Tour Guide for follow-up, put back the Abominable Soul, Aruha, Fiendish Rhino Warrior, Dark Contract, and the Pot of Prosperity. 
Uh, next up, he's going to normal summon tour guide, use the effect to summon out Fiendish Rhino Warrior, link into the Unchained Soul of Rage, then he can get Fiendish Rhino Warrior. No, he's taken back. Okay. He said meme. Meme? Oh, wait, he tried to make the. Yeah, I don't think you can, right? That was that needs a two monsters, including an unchained soul monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's gonna make Yama, then Fiendish Rhino Warrior, dump Unchained Soul Abominable, and then set anti spell. Pass turn, anti spell will cook his whole hand here. Um Yeah. Anti spell. And then, yeah, just admit defeat. Anti-Spell did cook the entire... Oh, yeah, I forgot I was going to say what I played at Locals and everything like that. I was wondering, like, if you guys might be curious. I was, you know, I was going to go over that in my opening segment, my opening speech, my spiel. I did forget, though. I did play Tier Limit, though. It was very, very fun. Unfortunately, I lost in the finals to Branded Chimera. My mills were just super shit. And... I think I drew, I don't know, it was so bad. Like, he ripped a card during end phase. He hit the only card that didn't have a graveyard effect in the Pressure Planet, Wraithsoth. And then, yeah, I don't know. If you guys want, if you guys want, you know, me to talk about that more, let me know. But we're here for this video. So we're going to see Dark World go first here. Kirito goes second. Opens up Sharvara, Wailing, Ash, y uh, Shayama, and Tour Guide. Whew, that's a hand. Opponent opens up the Genta, Allure, Corridor, Ceruli, and Rainbow. So that's also a hand. It's going to start with Allure, Chain Ash Blossom, and then Genta for Gates. Okay, so go grab Gates. And then Corridor up next. Corridor for Snow, discard Snow. No, it's Corridor for Genta, discard Rainbow, Rainbow Effect to search for Silva, potentially. Yeah, so grab Silva. Okay, and then go Genta again to grab another Gates. And then activate the gates. And then banish Genta, discard Ceruli, draw into another Silva. Ceruli effect chain link one. No Genta chain link two. So I forgot the Genta summon back. Which is pretty important. You know, it's an extra body level four. Bounce back capabilities. Search for another gates if you play another one. Um, but... He says, think sec to grave. Yeah. He's going to go. So chain link one. The discard. So chain link one Silva. He's going to chain Sharvara to destroy the Cerulean and summon. So red. Yeah. He said destroy, but doesn't negate. Wait, what? He said, oh, okay, it's myself now, I guess. Wait, what? I'm confused. If this card is this card to the graveyard, special summon to your opponent's field and defense. If this card is special by the effect of a Dark World card. See, so I'm not sure. I don't I don't see how Sharvara would stop the Silva from putting two cards back, but that's what he's saying it's doing. And then he just like says, okay, think. Okay, so yeah, you guys let me know in the comments, bro, because it was supposed to be put two cards back. I really don't, I don't know. I don't see how popping the Cerulee because Ceruli summons, right? Ceruli's chain link one. So Ceruli discard the Silva. That went through. And then Ceruli, he chooses to discard the Silva, right? So Silva effect on a new chain is chain link one to summon itself from the graveyard. And your opponent plays two cards from their hands to the bottom of the deck. So I don't see how Sharvara popping the Ceruli is stopping that. But I am a dumbass, so I'm going to need you guys to let me know in the comments section what the hell just happened there, because I'm a little bit confused myself, I'm not going to lie. Um, but next up, he's going to go, you know, another Gates, um, banish the Genta, discard the, you know, Silva summon, and he is going to trigger the Genta here this time. So summon back, and then summon back, okay. Then from here, he can, let's see, he said, wait, calling judge on guru effect. Guru. I don't know the ruling about that. And then he said, on summon, Ceruli effect, Sharvara. Easy. But you activate guru effect, so it's declared by you still. Oh, so it counts as your effect, call a judge. 
Okay. Yeah, so he's trying to say that he's not, he's like, wait, calling a judge on the guru effect. I don't know the ruling on that. He said, on summon, truly affect Sharvara, easy. I don't know. That doesn't really explain too much. And he says, but you activates guru effect, so it's declared by you still, so it counts as your effect. And then he just said, call a judge, question mark. And then he's like, after a little bit, he's like, it's okay, just keep playing. So, yeah, you guys let me know in the comment section what's going on with that. Um, but he's going to link away the Silva and the Rainbow for Muckraker and then Muckraker effect to target the Cerulee to summon it back. So summon back Cerulee, discard the Accession. Effect of Cerulee, he said you discard. Never mind. Yeah, it wasn't a Dark, yeah, not a Dark World card. It was summoned by the Muckraker. And then he's going to get Rainbow, bounce back the Cerulee, summon. Then he's going to get Obsession, add it back, and then discard the Cerulee there. So, yeah, I think you discard the Cerulee for sure. Because this just summons back. You can't even use the Dark World Assessor because you don't have Grapha. Uh, he said, I misclick. Can I take back Silva? He says, K. Yeah, it's supposed to be Cerulee. Yeah, so discard the Cerulee and then give it to the opponent. And then Silva effect. And now for sure, he puts two to the bottom. And then he can go... Let's see. I don't know. He's going to go Cerberus. Okay. And then bounce back Genta, summon Rainbow. And then from here, he's going to go for the Unicorn. Okay. Maybe just going for Griffin. Discard the Unicorn. Or discard the Dark World Session to spin the Sharvara and then normal summon Genta. Yeah. So it looks like just a Unicorn play here. And then, oh no, just pass. Not even, not even playing the Griffin. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought he was going to end on Griffin. So he actually just ended on nothing. There's no interruptions. I mean, he hand-looped. He hand-looped for two. Um, I mean, regardless of how this went, though, like, he got to the second Cerulee spin back. Um, at that point, he had three cards in hand, so he wouldn't have been able to resolve it twice because he has to put exactly two. So just keeping Tour Guide, the one-card combo, then draw Sharvara for turn. Uh, he says, think, normal summon tour guide, use the effect, summon out Fiendish Rhino Warrior, and then he's going to link off the Cerulee and the Rhino Warrior into Yama, chain link one Yama, chain link two Fiendish Rhino Warrior, skip the step there, dump this escapes, uh, yeah, send, send Sarvara, set escape, and then Aruha destroys uh, escape, summon escape effect, summon from deck, Shayama, and then he's going to link into Anguish. Yeah, Anguish going seconds crazy. Link with the Muckraker up into Abomination. And he can pretty much out the whole field here. He's going to destroy the Aruha and the Gates of the Dark World. Aruha effect, Chain Link 1. He's going to get the Abomination, Chain Link 2, Target Rainbow. Then Yama, Chain Link 3, bring back the Anguish. So pop the Rainbow. And then Summon from Deck is going to be... Unchained Abominable Soul discard pop, and that is absolutely game. We're gonna see Unchained make a comeback after getting hand looped and just literally OTK with two cards in hand going second uh into Dark World. Yeah, that was absolutely insane. I can't believe he didn't make Griffin there, but that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna try to get more and more videos soon for you guys. If you guys want to hear more about the locals yesterday as well, definitely let me know in the comment section below. That's going to do it for this one.